Yo, people, right here, and it is time, finally, to judge the Minecraft modding competition. Bet you thought I'd forgot about it, but no, here it is. I got so many good entries, and whittling them down to the final two. Yes, it's a final two, not a final three, I'm being different, what of it? Yes. Well, it's just so difficult, you guys really went to town on this thing. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a special mention that I particularly enjoyed, but I didn't feel was good enough to get the placing, and then I will show you the second place map and the first placed pla pla ha, place map. And the winner of the first place map will be able will get their name built Hollywood style in my Let's Play. So yeah, first of all we have the special mansion which I particularly enjoyed. This map was made by Limited Anime. What what a name! What a name! And it's basically a roller coaster that takes you the entire length of every single part of the map and I thought that was really really cool nice little addition to this and it is pig dead so he doesn't interrupt me so we'll ride the roller coaster I shall show you it and this is the special mention by limited anime here we go and first of all into the castle nice little explore into the throne room and a quick look at the treasure and down into the underground and of course that sign goes past so fast that you can't actually see it ooh cow nearly interrupted me and out of the secret garden and into the kitchens have a quick look at the kitchens and go round the table and leave with another quick booster so damn it some sounds distracting me in the background I cannot have peace while recording. Mention it, ask what it is, and you shall be flamed. So yes, quick look round these slave quarters. And as we go round, we then decide, you know what? You know what? Let's go on the roof. The roof. The roof that's on. No. And into the king's chamber. Quick blast round the king's chamber and his golden bed and settee and jacuzzi of awesomeness. And down we go again and off we go round the side and yes we even go up the entire length of the tower that looks so cool going up the tower and we get to the top of the tower and fall off oh my god no don't hit the, don't hit the thing yeah see this cat will go and off we go to explore the town square of the village and boom all the way up and all the way down and we're heading back over here to explore the left side because that's how you do things another quick boost to keep us going over the trees quick dip into the park and now we're on the right side heading towards ye old inn ye old inn across the roofs roof to roof like a pro and onto the wall going around the wall and here we are looping back round very nice entry very nice tower of the castle. The special mention is yours, limited anime. And off the cat goes. Right, let's move on to the second place winner. Yes. Right, here we are with the second place winner. And you may think to yourself, what the hell's changed? And I'll tell you, nothing. Nothing has changed in the village or the castle. But what has been done, and which I think is an amazing amount of effort, to be fair, that this person has gone to. You may see there's a hole over there now. Would you like to know why that is? I shall go show you. So the castle and village has remained, and this guy, this guy being me like fail, yes, me like fail, I don't know why I flame fail, has added an entirely new section of the village that branches out from this house. We go into it through this room, and we can see the castle over there, and we walk in. We cross this chasm, it looks a bit innocent at the moment. We're just walking on a bridge across the map. And we see there's a room here. Now we go out the room and oh my god! He has literally made a whole section of housing and villages out of the side of this mountain added onto the village. This must have taken so long. I really am impressed with this, me like fail. Yes, me like call yourselves things that make sense in sentences people saying well done me like fail is 
kind of weird. So there's a spring. Let's go. That was going to the other side. Just a nice little balcony here. I mean, just look at it all. Just look at all that. And then we've got a little roller coaster to cross us to the other side. Like so. Come on, off we go. Ow. Because apparently that makes sense. And there we go. So now we're on the other side. There is just glass, keeping water at bay, making a nice little decoration. An entire library. A rare sponge was on the bottom of the sea. Yes. Another little viewing window. It's just so awesome. Uh, you have done a really good job here, Mike. Me like fail. Me like failure. I guess you just actually really do like failure. So we shall go down here further into the extra village. What's down here? Yeah, yes, another little balcony. Ever wondered what happened with your trash once dumped? What? Okay. Right, last little thing I need to show you on this map. And I, I, I think I'll go the long way. Although I could just leap over the fence and land all ninja cat-like. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. You ready? You ready? You ready? A ninja cat-like jump! Yes. This is how you're supposed to get here. You go down there, follow a big corridor, and end up back in the sides. But you can come down here for the big manor that is situated in the cave proper. With pumpkins lighting the way. So you enter it. There's a lovely house here. With everything that you could possibly need. Really quite well done. And you can go to the higher floor. Even more stuff that you need. And there's actually stuff in the chest which I like. And there's the balcony of this house. I like to think of it as a manor. Ooh, we can go to the roof. In fact, I have not done this before. I missed this the first time I explored this map. Oh, there is even an indoor farm. I mean, what more uh, do you want other than this? So yeah, this has been the second place winner. Congratulations, Mike Me No Fail, on second place in this modding competition. Now, what can possibly be better than this, you say? We shall find out with the first placed winner. And here we are with the first placed w pl pl ha, place winner. And the winner of the Minecraft Morning Competition is... Are you ready? Drum roll. Yes, drum roll with your mouth, because I know. Yes, that probably sounded crap on the mic, but still. The winner is... Eddie's. E-D-E-Y-Z. Eddie's. With his amazing addition to the castle and its surrounding area. He's even added an entire underwater facility for good measure. So let's have a read of his signs here. This was made by Eddie's. See what I mean? Rob is also my friend wrote this. There is other things to be discovered. I have made many changes to this world. Some of them... Ah... Uh, some of the... What? I've added to the local flora. He all in now as a basement and a dock. The market stalls look better. There is now a house for sale. The armory has a chest. There is a bookshop. My friend Dr. Genius helped world these. There is this underwater base. There is a rooftop garden. The king's getaway is improved. The castle has a library. There is so many things changed. That is just not even do it justice, what I just read out there. Right, so let's head out of the underwater base that got added. Here, you just leave out, lead out into the sea. And, you know, for good measure, there is just, in fact, an underwater biodome here. Because you can. Yep. It's just impressive stuff. This must have taken you a fair while. I know how hard it is to build underwater. And I sympathise with you, Eddies. I sympathise. Alright, here we go. Burning for good measure. And we jump out and grab the boat. Now we head to spin. Now we head over to the dock. Now you can already see some startling changes. I mean, that watchtower is just very nicely made. That is just... I, I might start making watchtowers like that because that is a very cool way to make them with the roof like such. So we shall get out the boat and look at that. A whole underwater base and tower system. Just, just for good measure. And we have an improved wall on the dock. The dockmaster's house has not been changed that much. And he has added... Let's go up one of these towers. Oh, I see. A ladder approach. I like the whole building in sand with stone type thing. It gives it a unique look. 
And here we are. Up here. Ah, it leads on to the... I see. That's quite good. And then we can go one step higher. And get this part. He's even added little watchtowers to the wall. Very, very cool stuff. These watchtowers really cinched it for me. I really liked what you did with them. And then we just have other little extra houses. Again, just to give it a bit more depth to it. Not much furniture in there. That would have gotten you even more bonus points, but you did do enough. And another little extra house there. So we'll enter the thing. And there we go. Two little things on the wall. And it has been added here a ladder to get up to these little watch houses and walk along the wall. Really useful stuff. And if we go have a look over here on this side of the wall, there is farmland. Because that's what every kingdom needs. Farmland. I really should have added that myself now that I think about it. But yes, good good on you. Ah, sneaky little workbench there. So yes, good bit of farmland there. Right, we shall head over into the map proper and discover the other things that you have added, Mr. Eddies. There is also this. I don't know what this is, but it is there. And it is good. Let's have a little rock here. Boom! Yes. And come on, come on. Lightstone. Building in lightstone is fun. Even if you did invent it, this, it's still a lot of effort. I love the people on my Ultimate Minecraft video go, Surely this was invented. Oh, you cheater, you used invented. Yeah, I used invented for that. Really? You wanted me to mine that? Do you feel worse knowing I haven't? So yes, the bridge is unchanged and the portal lyrics remain. And let's head to the left side of the village first. Now, all the houses have been uh, generally touched up. As you can see. This is the guy who has nothing and steals books. He does not deserve anything new. That is okay. And we go into the park. The park remains largely unchanged because really what can you change in the park? I mean, let's be frank. There's not much. Now it's been a while since I looked at this entry so I can't remember if there was any changes to the blacksmith. That would be a no. That's okay. The blacksmith was pretty good. There's been two entries that have just really heavily modded the map itself and just made slight tweaks. And they were both very good and it was very hard to choose between them. But overall I felt this one came out slightly on top with the additions that it did make. But they were both very good. There was also an entry that blew up the entire castle from a safety shield. But the explosion damaged one of the portal lyrics, thereby instantly disqualifying it. So, what's in, what's it, wait a minute. Yes, that's got a random chest in and a, and a, and a table. Yeah, just generally the houses have been updated. The watch, I just love those watchtowers, they are very, very good. And we'll go into the E old inn again. And now we have a basement going down here. We have some bugs, because everybody needs bugs. Everybody, 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 everybody needs bugs. And there is a nice little dock on the inn, which is rather cool. And here we go. C come on, come on, up, up the stairs. Yes. I think, if I remember, no, this isn't this one. See, it's very hard to choose because the ex externally structures this map phenomenal. Whereas the other map I had to choose between externally didn't change much, but internally had a lot had a lot of detail like showers, and it was just so hard to, to um, choose between them. But overall, I felt those watchtowers cinched it. I really like that structure, and you tell I like the watchtowers. So we shall move over to the village square and have a look at the changes going over there. That's been added some nice hedge just to give it a more villagey feel, and we have a library. Well, a bookstore. And it is Ye Old Bookstore. So that gets you bonus points. There's a lot of books in this Ye Old Bookstore. Yes, in fact, the desk is made out of them. You can't leap over the desk like a pro in this bookstore, though. And that angers me. Angers me on a level you cannot even fathom. Right, let's go down here. Yes. The dark book room. Let me out the freaking house! Yes, there we go. Right. 
the market stalls have been substantially upgraded with roofs, which is nice to see. And, oh yes, this is another thing that completely cinched this map for me. I'll just show you it in a second. Right, is this check? No. Here, look at this. It just looks like a stone structure. But, hang on a minute. Yes. He has made a freaking gladiatorial arena. A actual freaking arena. Like, seriously, every good kingdom needs one. With switches to operate the gates to let the gladiators in. And they've got monster spawners in. That's just... That is cool. That's what you need. That is just what you need. And the gate opens. And we go out the gladiator ring. This is where the combatants enter. And down here... We have... Yay! Weapon racks! For them to arm themselves. Very nice touch. Had in a freaking gladiatorial arena. Very cool. And finally we should head over to the castle. And have a little look at the changes over there. You can already see one of the changes sitting on the roof of the castle. Yes, indeed you can. Oh, oh, I know what we're going to do. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. Oh! Leaping from market stall to market stall like a, like a, like a... Superhero in the night. Oh, that was a bit of a lame finish, but oh well. And there's been nice hedge added to the. I like little touches like that. That's the main thing I look for in these worlds. Just the little touches that make everything seem so much better. So we shall head into the castle. And nice to see the golden floor still is here. Oh, there's no change to the throat. Uh, hang on. Scratch that. There is books going on behind there. Yes. Oh, I see. That's like a allowance area for people who live in the castle. And here we have a giant castle library. And the nice little sliding ladders to access books. Very nice job. And that's where you take them out, obviously. Nicely done. I didn't notice that first time around. Cool. The mineral room... Mineral room? Treasure room has not changed. But apparently the underwater garden of the king has changed. And it now has a ladder. Ooh, it's now been changed into like a tropical paradise. With loads of flowers and a nice way down of torch blocks. And, yes, it looks very cool. The other map that nearly beat this had lava heating in the pool, but not the finishing touches around the outside. So, again, it was just so hard to choose between them. But, you know, this is what I have chosen. So, we'll head upstairs. Yes, we will. And check out. There's just a chest added to the armory. Nothing really changed in there. And what can you do with the slave claws? Apart from put a door on them. But they're very good slaves. As far as slaves go. Button, 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 button. Yes, button. And out we go. No changes to the actual towers themselves. But on the roof of the main king's block. Is in fact. A greenhouse. Yes. For good measure. Nicely done nice one. And the gold room remains unchanged because, oh, the king likes his gold. And the gold mage remains unchanged. But however, up here, up here, we have, we have, we have, the desk is still there, and the golden bed, and city. Cool. Right, that is the changes for this. The first place winner, Eddie's, your name would be written in big Hollywood sign style letters on the Let's Play. Okay. Yes, congratulations to Eddie's. And the other map that I mentioned that nearly, so very nearly beat this one was made by Mr. Dr. Genius. I will post a link to his map so you can check it out. In fact, it's in the modding. It's in the modding description, so you can check out Mr. Doctor Genius's map because that is also a very, very nice attempt. There's less sort of structures, but more adding, if you know what I mean. In fact, you know what? Hang on, let me just think. Let me just think. I'm thinking here. 
thinking is happening. Brain cogs are wearing. Brain cogs are wearing. Brain cogs are wearing. I'm going to do something shocking. Something so shocking that it's mind blowing. I am going to, because now thinking about it, comparing the two maps, they are just so remarkably like each other that it's almost impossible to choose. I am going to do a sudden twist and do a double winner. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. A double winner. I shall do the names of both in big giant letters on the Let's Play. And first of all, I'm going to assume you'd like to see Mr. Dr. Genius's map. So here we go. Yo, here we are on the joint winner map. I know it was highly unorthodox for me to just leap that in there and completely just change it up at the last second. But I really feel both deserve to be shown. And both deserve a first place. Besides, with a name like Mr. Dr. Genius, what more do you want? So, welcome to Dr. Genius's improved town. Featuring all the best improvements, and some others too. Nicely done. No changes to the external area. I like the um, whole signposting thing. In future competitions, guys, will you put a signpost with just your name? Because it's really hard to sort out whose map is whose. Looks best with the paintly pack, Dr. Genius. No. That keg sound not good. No changes to the signs or statues. Good! No one may change the portal lyrics. So yes, you'll see why I like this map just as much. You can see from the outside, it doesn't look like much has changed, which the other map did. So this side first, please. I should listen to you. Street number three. Mailbox. And no other changes. See, it's, it's rather nice having these signs around to give me instruction. Nothing added to the book stealer's house. And his evil, evil planning. Added furniture, etc. See, this is what I mean. Little attention to the details. Just adding furniture to all the houses. So this, this is the kind of thing that makes me like maps that people sent me. It's alright having huge, massive constructions, but if they're barren and empty, it just doesn't feel right. That's what she said. Uh, added furniture and stuff? Yes. And she yelled in. A new reception. That is rather cool looking reception. Basement behind reception. You can't look at leap over the desk like pros anymore. Oh. And we've added bar stools. Nice. And obviously no changes to the... Oh, there's added workbenches in the kitchen. Because chefs need to craft things out of wood. Achieve archives for current visitors and episode. Nice. Basement. Food storage. Oh, not bad. Right. F Ooh, fish. Nice. And... Various kegs of alcohol. That is quite cool, actually. That does look like kegs. Nicely done. And older archives. Good stuff. You see why I like this map? It looks doesn't look much from the outside, but when you get down into it, it's really cool. And shower drainage. Because you need drainage. And I just stood in it. Oh, dear. Right, so if we head up to the top, and just have a quick look around the rooms... Furniture has just been added. Luxury double room with its own library. Because that is luxury in the old times. And just furniture added. Nice little bedside table going on there. And a shower. A quick shower for... A communal shower for people. Nice. Family room. Ah, oh, see, a little bit. Yes. Good stuff. One thing I've been meaning to do every single time. There we go. Finally, that has been bugging me since I made this map ages ago. So nice little detail changes to the old inn. And furniture added to the houses. It's really quite cool. You see why I wanted to... This is see why I struggled so hard to choose between these two maps. And in the end I thought, screw it, you know what? I'm not going to choose between them. Both of them get first place. I will build both their names, Mr. Dr. Genius and Eddie's, on my Let's Play in big Hollywood style letters. And see, Brickhouse added, that is a nice touch as well. Ooh, cough time. Just another little house with furniture added. And we shall leap onto the... and fall in horribly. Add entrances and stalls and recovery. I see, so you can actually go in and talk to the proprietor. And, yes, not bad indeed. Not, not bad indeed? Not bad at all. And these ones will just be furniture, etc. added. So let's head on over to this, which is really cool. Now this doesn't have an arena, 
like Eddie's, but Mr. Dr. Genius has taken a more stately approach. And added it a rich person's secluded sec hedge. Th thanks for that, Mr. Dr. Genius. I would never have guessed. Ah, <sighs> oh, well. Only brick home in town. This person's a rich snob. He's even got a carpet and amazing furniture. It, oh my god, he's full of gold. He, he's got the bling. He has got the bling. He's got the only personal shower in town. This guy has got it made. Not as made as the king and his solid gold rooms, but pretty damn made. So, this area's been covered. Let's have a quick look at the castle, and then this will end this competition winners video. I've had some very good entries. You guys are really surprised me. I thought I'd get like one or two half fast attempts, but you guys you guys like this stuff. Happy to see. Right, so here we go. Into the castle. Into the castle. No changes yet. No changes in here. Fair enough. No the changes down here. That's what I need to know. That would be useful in knowing that if there are changes down here. Aha, there are changes down here. Right, move so I can actually get out. Good stairs. So we'll head down the path. It's not as good around. See what I mean? It's just so hard to change. See, this is a nice heated pool. Still water, heated pool. Really cool idea. But then the outside isn't all flowery and nice like the other map. You, you see my dilemma, people! Keep trying to justify it to you. Justify! Hang on. He was like, what? Nobody who ventures there returns in search of a stronger army to do- What? My lord, rumours about the dark lord has left. He was last seen in a secluded valley. Oh, yeah, venture forth and find the dark lord in haste. He was last seen- Yes, this- I will show you this. This was a very nice touch. And to be honest, now that I've remembered this, I will probably- bump it slightly ahead of the other map, but they're both very good. Added pillows to the slave's bed? That's too kind. So very too kind. What's wrong with you? And we'll quickly go check up at the top. This is going to be another long video again. Damn you, YouTube, and massive upload times. Added, added roofs. You can see the roofs. I don't need to go up and show you them. No changes here. Added a gold floor to the gold room. Although I'm sure it was solid gold before, and now it's just bits of gold. No changes till the bedroom. Right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn you for being a mischievous king. Damn you. And added easily entrance. I see. And added bookshelves for the king's enjoyment. Nice. The king does like being entertained. In more ways than one. Ha, ha, ha. Right. Let's head out, and I will show you this Dark Lord thing. In fact, I will jump to it to save recording time. Three, two, one. Right, here we are in the park. Now, first of all, I should note that he's made the fences better, so you can't jump out the park. But there's no change to the blacksmith. Now, you see over there that gold thing? This starts the little Dark Lord quest that he's actually... He's added, actually added a quest. It's really... I know that was really hypocritical of me to say you can't jump out the fences and then I jump out the fences, but you know what I mean. He's added a little mission for you to undertake, and it's actually quite... It's quite good. It is quite good. So you come over here, and you have a look, and you see... On this line was the Battle of the Nine Legions. The most pure being, beings rebelled against the gods. Nine hundred warriors of Ag Angmar fought that day. None were left alive. The pure beings fought the dark gods. The gods were struck down one by one. But the last one was too strong. They imprisoned him in a cave. Walls of enchanted gold have kept him at bay. However, the Dark Lord wishes to save him and kill us all. So we head down into this little cave over here. The cave holds the dark god. And psychic powers activate. Now that my psychic powers have well and truly activated and I've got limited torches, let's head in and have a look-see. His escape requires a sacrifice of 5,000 goblins. Goblins are the rarest creature in the world. However, the Dark Lord has learnt how to summon them. Yes. But he requires a tool as strong as the Dark Gods. 
Yes, indeed, he does. Right, here we go. Let's carry on now. A really nice touch, dude. He believes that he may have found the answer. Yes, indeed, he does. Right, where do I go? I can't remember where I go from here. Oh, yes, here we go. We are all doomed if he is correct. And where do we go now? All the way over here. There's so much minerals on this map. Why did I never, never realize? Do we go? Yes, let's head this way. <gasps> it's a gold prison. That does not look good. Surely that will unlock the Dark Lord. <sighs> and the world will be torn asunder. So we go through the wall of enchanted gold and get down here. Diamond! Are you serious? Even more enchanted gold. This does not look good. This looks like I've stumbled into the prison of the Dark God himself. And we continue down and we see another side. I think I've skipped something. Yeah, I probably have skipped something. I don't find the... Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let me go back and try the different route. Because you need to get the signs in the right order. It does make a, a rather cool little thing. For the only thing more powerful than it... No! I want the rest... The goblin storyline. See, I wish there was like a distinct line of torches showing me the correct path to take. With, you know, the RPing that is in fact going on right now. Do we go down there? Is there anything down there? No. Alright, let's go this way. This might be it. But we'll have a look anyway. Right, is this done anything? Is there any signs? Anything at all? Anything at all? <sighs> that is what, no. That's, that's later on. I don't need that one yet. I don't understand. Oh, that's the other side of the gold prison right there. Of the dark god. The dark god. You know what? Screw it. Basically, it involves him turning all the populace of the kingdom into goblins to serve his own ends. Yes. Dastardly, isn't it? Ah, don't jump in the lava. Where the hell is the... I've lost the game freaking path now. Right, let me get out here. Come on. Let's use wood. That wood can set on fire. So that's probably not the best thing to use. I've got... Oh, there it is. Right, there we go. Come on. Cease. Release me. Release me from this torment. And there we go. Right, so you come down here. For the only thing more powerful than a dark god... Is hope. <gasps> no, no, no. So, yeah, dude, this little RP set up for me with the Dark God. That was a real cincher. So, yeah, congratulations, guys, to Edzies. Yes, that's why we offer ourselves to become goblins. To Edges, Ed Edges, 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 Eddies, and Mr. Dr. Genius for their very, very cool maps. They take joint first place. Their name shall be built in big Hollywood style letters. In the let's play. Hope you guys have enjoyed looking at the. Oh my god, I'm on fire and I'm going to die. Ah! Oh. Right, okay. My name has been Rage. This has been the modding comp. What? I keep getting distracted. Right, right, let me start this from the top, okay? Congratulations to the special mention. Nice roller coaster. Congratulations to second place. Nice addition to the village. Congratulations to the joint first place of Mr. Dr. Genius and Edzies for their distinct and unique styles taken on my map. Eddie's going for the big approach with new buildings. Mr. Dr. Genius going for the subtle approach with nice detail and a nice little role play. I enjoyed that thoroughly. So yes, your guys shall be putting big Hollywood letters on the Let's Play in the coming episodes. My name's been Rage. Goodbye.